Brian, this is a good movie. This is a fucking good. terrible movie. It's a good movie. What, 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 cameras were off, and I was Kyle's like, I was like, this movie we're talking about is fucking terrible. And I was like, this movie, and Kyle's like, it's pretty great, isn't it? At times, it's competent. And I was like, what the fuck are you smoking? What a we're about to, I'm about to come over this table. We're gonna throw throw our hands. It's strangely competent. No, it is not. Don't no, listen to him. He's he's out of his mind. He's outside of his mind. This it's movie, all it's all the quarantine. He's gotten cabin fever. This movie is fucking. This this movie right here is fucking terrible. It's oh my god. I don't even know. Brian's I, gonna spend the next whatever time we spend on this film. He's gonna convince me that this is not a strangely competent film. That's kind of. I, I, uh, play the music in opening credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back to the 106th episode of this film is lit. Let's fight! Let them fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Brian Shilgo. Joined, as always, by the other host, Mr. Kyle Hinton. Who's apparently wrong. Who's, I don't even, you guys, okay, so, if you want to... Form your own opinion. See where you land. <laughs> Pause this review right now. This movie is available both on YouTube in its entirety and on Tubi. I think they're both. Tubi is definitely illegal. Uh, YouTube, I think, was uploaded by the film company, it looked mm-hmm. like. So you can watch Death Hunter, Vampires, Werewolves vs. Vampires on either of those services. Come back, unpause this, and then explain to Kyle in the comments <laughs> why he's losing his mind. <laughs> Kyle, this movie is garbage. <laughs> this movie is a full on oh, garbage it, fire. It, 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 the special effects, especially. <laughs> they are oh my God, awful. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing else about it's any good either. What? <laughs> We'll get there. All right. Okay. So we'll, we'll uh, get to the parts I liked. Yeah. Let's. Oh my God. I'm astounded to see. I didn't think any. I mean, there were mm. parts I laughed at and enjoyed, but I didn't think any of this was good. So it's written and directed by a man named Dustin Reichert. And if you look at his IMDb page, it, his most known form is literally four identical Hallmark Christmas movies that he produced. But the covers are indistinguishable. <laughs> like they're like a, they're all they, exa- were they all Christmas films? Right? Yes. Yes, of they're course, all Hallmark. Hallmark Christmas movies, and they all are like identical. Now, question: Any of them have Dean Cain? I didn't see him on any of the covers. Uh, that doesn't mean because I'm assuming this guy produced like dozens of them, so maybe one of them. But all the ones that I saw on his IMDb page, neither none of them had Dean. They, Cain. they they actually cryogenically freeze Dean Cain. They only unfreeze him for Hallmark movies. Yeah, <laughs> they pull him out. Uh, yeah, of his <laughs> his tube, and they warm him up. Uh, give him a glass of uh, rum and coke, and. <laughs> kick him out onto the stage and his f- favorite salt and vinegar chips yeah <laughs> kick him out and they're like go go make act. his money <laughs> go act um how did you do that it's easy i think of a location and then we move you can do it too oh easy for you to say and they give him some they give him some uh benadryl to bring the puffiness down a little bit and they're like go get him this damn spring allergies <laughs> uh we're introduced we start in the cold open is some a couple camping uh, and getting ready for some sexy sexy times yep some tookie tookie as she says oh come on baby just one more i'm serious billy oh my god sandra just no protection no tookie tookie i that's a new one for me. But, but but we're responsible in this modern day and age. Got protection. Got to have protection. Uh, and he left it in the tent, so he goes to find the protection <laughs> and <laughs> consider <laughs> saran wrap. <laughs> Easy, wrap. Easy wrap. He can't find it. And then pulls out saran wrap. And he, it's obviously a joke. Yeah. But it's like, it's that momentary pause where he's like, considering... <laughs> Nah. <laughs> don't take health advice from Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, but definitely don't ever wrap your dick in saran wrap and then that'll not... Do, do business. <laughs> don't do that. That's bad. It's a bad idea. It's going to end poorly for everybody involved. So then when he comes back out... Uh, well, oh, here, here's no. the scream. Yeah, here's the scream, and we see her get eaten by a camera. Billy! 
Yeah. <laughs> the camera falls. <laughs> um, no, no, no. I like to imagine that what that shot actually is, where the camera's like, it's just they they had it on a crane, and then the camera fell off the crane mm. and like hit her in the fucking face, and they just and recorded. they're out in like the desert, aren't they? Uh, yeah, it looks like yeah, because that's where all the rest of this takes yeah. place is like in the desert of New Mexico or something, something like that. But uh, he he goes back to the car and gets the shotgun out of the trunk. He has a shotgun in the trunk. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe they're like fending off wild coyotes or something. Did you notice this, Kyle? Hmm. When he opens the trunk, we get like a um a, a, a Tarantino light inside the trunk shot. Mm-hmm. You can see a crew member in the background oh, of no. the shot. I didn't, didn't you can, that He entirely. opens it, and there's a person standing on the side of the frame, and I'm 99% sure it's the uh, the guy with the slate, because you mm. can see the slate. Like, I think the guy leaned into the shot, did the slate, and then leaned out, but did not lean all the way out of the shot. And, like, half of his body is in the shot. That's where you at least do the digital zoom where you kind of cut him out of yeah. it. Yeah. Half of his body is in the shot. Good it's Lord. fucking wild. As he's walking oh. around, I got to talk about the music cues in this scene in particular. <clears throat> the music, this is one of the things that I was like, what are we even doing already? He's looking, he's he's prowling around with a shotgun, and mm. then a music cue goes boom and makes a big loud noise. And I'm like, what was that? Was that a gunshot somewhere? Because it sounded like a gunshot. And then it does it again. And then her body falls out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, what yeah. just happened? <laughs> Falls out like a pinata. <laughs> but the big dramatic scary music cue happens like three seconds before her yeah. body falls out of yeah. the sky. And then it happens again. He's walking. So he's like, like oh they no. Put it in between the actual moments. Yes. And then he's walking and he goes, and then the music does the da, 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 and nothing happens. And then he turns around and then the werewolf is there. You put the music cue on the reveal of the, it's scary movie 101. I don't even under how Bri- you could. Brian is an expert. <laughs> I'm not an expert, <laughs> but I know that the big dramatic da 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 happens when you yes. see the thing that is sound, scary. Sound mixing 101, match sound to what is happening on screen. I fucking like Brian. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. We're all right. <laughs> we're all good. I, it's just wild. Uh, and yeah, I completely agree. This beginning part is incredibly stupid. Uh, <laughs> is absolutely. Also, we get a close up of the makeup of this werewolf, uh, mm-hmm. and it looks like Elvis had a real rough weekend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks yeah. like Elvis uh, when they found him but, uh, after he fell off the. But toilet. he shotgun blasts this guy. Yeah. Twice. Twice. Uh, but it, it, gets, do it gets the double tap in. Yeah, but uh, it's not enough. Was, was, it, was it against this one that it wasn't enough, or was it? Yeah, it's against this one. It's not enough. It's against one. this one that it's not enough because the guy gets up and then he 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 gets him near his car somehow, and mm-hmm. then he shoots, oh, he his, shoots car, his car and, and blows his it car up. Explodes because in a giant ball. Thing. Why not? Yeah, sure. Hey, looking for me? Oh! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh man, right here. Uh, but he turn. He, he's like, yeah, got, got you. Yep. And then he turns to the right. Oh my, oh my god, it's a pre-rendered asset. <laughs> oh my god, this werewolf that they use throughout this movie mm-hmm. is so stupid looking. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it is. Oh my god, it's incredible. <laughs> uh, and we'll get to some of the best parts of it later. What of some of the things it does? I have so much to talk about in the scene, the night for day scene. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the day for night. Yeah, the scene day later. for night looks fucking oh, horrendous. Oh, <laughs> and some of the stuff that happens in that is incredible. <laughs> what do you got for ammo in that thing? Three bolts plus one in the chamber. And then we get the opening credits, uh, and during this, there's one thing in particular I just have to mention. There's some books, a uh, close-ups of books that they clearly in post added some weird runes to that never play a role ever in the movie yeah. but they felt the need to add these runes I doesn't it's right up there with Billy Owens I don't even have a clue what's going on you just said this movie was up there with Billy Owens oh you mean the runes the runes yeah I, I'll tell you the part that I think works in this at least from a writing standpoint okay now or later later okay 
I don't even know. Okay. Uh, after the after the opening we're, scene, yeah, we, we see the the couple, uh, the couple in the car. clearly fucking hate each other. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> clearly hate each other in this opening scene. She's like, I told you, you fucking idiot, that we needed to turn back it's there. Because the guy can't ask for directions. Yeah, and he Sorry. can't ask for directions. She's like, you fuck. And they hate, clearly hate each other. Do me a favor. What's that? The next time I let you talk me into taking a shortcut. Yeah. Yeah. Look around. He's like, he he's clearly taking her out to the desert to murder her. Is his plan yeah. based on our opening? And that's what you do. That's them. what people in New Mexico do, right? Wow, I didn't want to cast aspersions on all of New Mexico. <laughs> oh, <but>. we've all <laughs> seen, we've all seen Breaking Bad. Do I need to elaborate? Uh, and then they, but they they're lost, and then they get outside a building, pull up to a building. They're like, oh, there's something, and it's and they're like, it's so creepy, and it just looks like a normal building. I don't know why it's creepy, but it turns out they go inside, and it's a strip club slash bar yeah it's a bar but yeah. there are just like dancers on a stage there's just a shot where there's a lady on a wooden stage dancing yeah. it's the saddest it's, thing i've ever seen in my entire it's, life oh god it's like uh jezebeth where they have like yes. the uh the, the strip, strip club scene and the lights are on lit. way too high and it's like no <laughs> it's like hang on hang on hang on this is too this this was revealing way too much for yeah. me to enjoy this. uh it is not great have a good sleep in Jeez. Um, also, they have this great where they, they they try to hide a match cut where they're, the camera pans from one side of the bar and then it pans across a brick wall mm -hmm. and then they cut. Yeah. But it, it's very no, obvious. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. super yep. fucking obvious. Um, and then there's an Irish guy who's, who's running the strip club. His accent is fucking atrocious. Oh, welcome to Shamus's. That'd be me. What can I do for you? Is it real? Is it fake? I don't, I don't know, know, but it's regardless, amazing. Regardless, it's awful. It's amazing. <laughs> you hear that, everyone? He could use some gas. <laughs> <laughs> but he's running this bar, mm -hmm. uh, and then they... They, so now they're they're quote they're like all right we'll hang out here for the night and then we'll get gas in the morning and we can get out of this town because the they're they're you know they're getting bad vibes from mm. all the locals and he they sit down and they're having a drink and I love he goes oh that reminds me that reminds me mm. and he pulls out a present he, he it's their anniversary yeah we didn't establish that it's their anniversary he pulls out her anniversary present which is some jewelry that we never see again it's not important and he had it un boxed and unwrapped just loose in his chest pocket like a fucking yeah, psychopath <laughs> i don't i what, what, what was it again it's was just it some necklace there's a necklace okay i don't know yeah, what it is we don't see it but he just had it it's a anniversary present yes and he just had it in his pocket like that guy was clearly planning to murder her like he was and then he found some random jewelry and he was like oh this yeah this that was from the the affair that he was having like the girlfriend's necklace got in his chest pocket and he was like oh i got oh i got you uh, i got you whose this. necklace is this uh, yours, yours, yours it's your honey. necklace yes. happy anniversary don't re regard the fact that it's not wrapped in any way and then i and it's clearly hate not, you it's not properly initialed no <laughs> <laughs> and yeah who is who is jl <laughs> Uh, it means I just love you. Is what yep, 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 <laughs> just, just love. love. <laughs> um, and uh, so he, uh, she, she announces to him in that moment after they just did a shot of tequila. Triggers. She's pregnant. Did, yeah. did, did you say you're pregnant? Yeah. Hear that, honey? They're on the house. She's like, oh, by the way, I'm pregnant. Oh, you probably shouldn't be just smashing down drinks. Yeah, and it, and it's like, oh, thank God. Now he has a reason to care about getting her back because clearly he didn't. He would not have cared mm -hmm. otherwise because they fucking seem to hate each other. Um, but then immediately she's like, I'm pregnant, and 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 the bartender, wa somebody walks up, a waitress walks up, and it's mm -hmm. like, it <laughs> says some dude's it name. It goes like it's zero to a hundred like that. Like that. So Dream sends his condolences. 
For what? For this. <laughs> and now they're all vampires. Mm -hmm. This entire bar is full of vampires. Uh, and it goes, and our guy has a gun. Yeah. Why does he have a gun, Kyle? Guess he's just a dude that we know, and he just. Oh, I, but like, but there was. That's one of those things that you should set up. I don't or, know. Like, yeah, it, it's it's from from the filmmaking perspective, you should set that up beforehand. Yeah, you should set up like, oh, he's a cop, or or even if he just has a gun, like he mentions, like, oh, I was worried about. Oh, the other guy had the shotgun. Everybody's armed. Yeah, with everybody's just armed to the teeth in this. Maybe in New Mexico, just everybody like when you when you when you come out of the womb, they hand you a gun and then you go on your way. I don't fucking know. Like, or or if you go, if you go anywhere uh, out outside of your home area, they're like. Right, you better make sure you're packing. That's yeah, wall here. Well, and I think it would have been easy just to like when they were talking about camping. He's like, and she, if she was like, uh, you know, I, I'm not comfortable with you having that gun. And he's like, well, I'm worried about bears or whatever. You know what I mean? Like some stupid line. Just he, the gun just appears. He just Brian, like, how many bears are in New Mexico? <laughs> and of course, that has no effect because they're vampires. They're vampires. Uh, including the main vampire villain guy who mm. I, his name escapes me, but it's not important. He's only in two scenes, this one and the final scene. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to shoot it at me? Yeah, I will if I have to. Uh, the fight scene choreography here is real bad, and so is cinematography. It's all just shaky and mm. close-ups. <sighs> I will say from this car scene where he's driving, except for the special effects, obviously. You mean like when he, he runs over those super obvious dummies in the parking lot who are just standing there doing nothing? Yes. <laughs> from here until the uh, his quote unquote mentor mentor dies, yeah, is strangely competent. In what way? That it feels like. A, the way he takes care of things is not incredibly contrived. Came across a family of campers that had been visited by the Lycans today. I see. That he is A, the best at everything, or B, that he is completely inept and a hapless idiot. What the hell was that? Like I said, the bite affects everyone differently. And it, it it somewhat feels like it, this is in some way an average Joe learning to survive. I mean, maybe he he's we spend so little time. I don't know how I can really de yeah. describe it more than that. It it, it fr from a development of somebody who's a fish out of water to competent. It doesn't seem incredibly contrived. Sure. And that's that's the part where I, I was like, yeah, that's strangely competent. If you say so. <laughs> All I could focus on in this moment was as he's driving down the road and a werewolf jumps on his thing and we get a blob, a poorly keyed out blob. Oh, National Mental Health Services. <laughs> I need somebody to be committed. <laughs> Uh, they'll be here shortly, Kyle. Um, I, I couldn't get past the giant blob on his windshield. <laughs> That's like, or whenever they do like the sideways shot of him in the car driving, like they show him in the driver's seat inside the car. Yeah, and it's just a green screen shot. <laughs> It's all so fucking bad. It's oh my god. And then he Ugh. he he he's running out of gas, so he crashes his car into a cliff. And, and that pins the vampire or mm -hmm. werewolf or whatever. I think it's a vampire. I don't. It's know. it's a vampire because he cuts off its head. Yeah, that's right. He cuts off its head and it's still alive. And it's yeah. like, Rrr, and then the sun comes out and it burns up. And then when they show the body burning up, there's a very clear, horrible mat placed over that is hiding the head. 
and you see the body moving, but the mat doesn't move with the. Bo- it's yep. Kyle, this. When I watched this movie, all I could think of why are we? Why am I not making movies? If this person made a movie and got it distributed and has a whole cu- case and a, cu- I could. M- I can make movies if this whoever made this movie can make movies because this is terrible. This is the most incompetent nonsense. Which is which is always the thing is like, hey, why don't you guys make movies? I tried. <laughs> For the record, we did not take that money; they gave it to hey, us. Shut the hell up! I, I I'm not saying they would be good, but they wouldn't be any <laughs> wouldn't worse be than this. They wouldn't be any worse than this movie. There's yep. just a zero percent chance. I think it's always who you know. It's oh my god yeah I, I, maybe he cashed in some of those Hallmark producing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> credits and was like I oh, guarantee oh. you he knew some producer like some people who were like hey can I get ten thousand dollars to shoot a vampire film yeah and that was they were like you can have eight thousand dollars and he was like done Deal. Uh, and then we get some riveting uh, desert pioneering scenes as our guy tries to work a compass in the desert. <laughs> Yeah. And he's watched by the elf from the expe- unexpected race <laughs> in the Just distance. Just some dude with binoculars in the distance. Yeah, with, with the hood. And then uh, he shows up and he's got a it was, crossbow. It was a Jawa. <laughs> uh, then he's climbing a mountain and pulls his backpack off for no reason and falls down the mountain. None of that. Even the little details of this movie are incomprehensible. Like he's climbing a mountain and then he stops for no reason on a very precarious edge mm. and he pulls his backpack off and unzips it and then slips and falls down the mountain. I don't even know what oh he was no. trying to do. What was he was he going to take a know. nap on the mountain? Was he getting his sleeping bag out? It But once again, oh, this is the, 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 the rattlesnake. I was oh, yeah. talking about the rattlesnake because we get rattlesnake.mp3 played incredibly loud. Yeah. And then poor. But I, I will. I, here's the thing. I will say, like this little particular scene here of them at least cutting together parallel action and how it came together. Look at Brian just falling apart. It was somewhat well done. I don't want to be in this review anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera with you. <laughs> it was somewhat well done. <laughs> oh, and then our dude gets bitten by a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, um, he gets savaged by a werewolf. He gets completely ripped open by a werewolf and then saved by uh, uh, Whistler. <laughs> Whistler shows up to save him. Please don't make me rude. You've been bitten. They're for your own good. Whistler played by Jim Leahy. Holy shit. This, and now I don't think you've ever watched um, Trailer Park Boys. Have you at all? Uh, this is the uh, sheriff guy, right? Yes. Yeah. He looks exactly. It's a shit tornado. <laughs> yes. He looks exactly. He's wearing the same shirt. He has the same hair. He has the same pants. He looks exactly like. My favorite part of this whole movie is we get like 30 seconds of really nice uh, bubbling beaker ASMR. <laughs> this moment where because he has to synthesize a yeah. vaccine or yeah, he, he not even a vaccine. It's it's just an anti venom, like an anti venom or something. Basically, some sort of potion that's gonna. St- let our guy somewhat it's blade he's yeah. got a somewhat i mean as you can tell by the fucking cover of the movie yeah he's um, absolutely blade yeah uh and he's gonna turn somewhat into i love on the i love to on the cover of this they 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 faked this in the movie this this shot's in the movie but it's not a sword in a sheath on his back he takes a wooden stake and shoves it down his collar yeah. in the film And 
and they in the cover of the movie they changed that to like a cool like blade sword and it's not yep this is a lie this is false advertising <laughs> <laughs> anyways Uh, and then he transforms into a werewolf kind Over of. Over the course of like, how many weeks was it? How long have I been out? Four weeks. Well, you know, he was, he goes, he falls asleep or passes out for four weeks, they say. That's insane. That's insane. And then he trains for six months. Mm. The, the end of this movie takes place six months after the part where his wife gets taken. Wouldn't that be eight months? No, what? wouldn't it be seven months? He says six months. He says it's well, been... He's unconscious for four weeks and trains for six months. Oh, then maybe it is seven okay. months. Sure, maybe. Math! <laughs> Whatever, sure. At one point, he says it's been six months. I'm Point not sure. Point being is the time frame in which his wife was pregnant and when he's done and kind of completes everything, it's like he has a new life now. Yep. Gestation. Yep. Yep. It's art! <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna play you a clip of this movie and then at the end every time after every single clip I'm gonna have Kyle uh, the clip of Kyle saying it's art and I'm gonna put that after every single fucking clip in this movie it's just gonna be like the fucking green screen skulls and them like f f walking past Dr drinking game it's art yeah <laughs> It's art. Th them, them playing uh, strip poker in a car. It's uh, art. And shoes don't count. <laughs> Since when do you make the rules? <laughs> He's right. Everyone knows that shoes don't count. It's like, how lame is that? Okay, fine. <sighs> it's art. It's called manga and it's art. <laughs> or hentai, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> It's called hentai, and it's art. Oh, we even get he's the chosen one. You were the chosen one. The prophecy has foretold it. Prophecy? You're no better than the rest of them. Do you realize what you've done? Yeah. That never means anything. That okay. He's like, you're the chosen one. The prophecy has foretold it. And I'm like, fuck this, you. This is where That's it, not. The, the beginning part where it shows like him survival and him transitioning like to, to a competent person. It's like, yeah. Sure. This is where it takes that and goes Thelma and Louise off a cliff. The second you start giving me prophecy shit about vampires and werewolves and, and this guy honestly just seems like an average Joe who was yeah. thrown into it. Yeah. It makes that's that's my biggest problem with the the prophecy has foretold it. The chosen one. They do nothing else with that other than this one line. There's not like anything at the beginning that sets that up in any way. There's not any payoff for that. It's literally yeah. just how often, I saying you're the chosen how one. How often? So. How often is a prophecy that? So uh, some average schmuck came out into the desert one night. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna turn into a werewolf hunter, and uh, he's gonna kill a couple werewolves, and then leave. Yeah. Oh, I gotta talk about this scene. There's a moment where the the Jim Leahy walks up during after the transformation. He walks up into his like old timey house that he lives in, mm. and he He's starts a bombed out house that's completely yeah. falling apart. Yeah, and then he starts shaving. Yeah, and he's looking at a hole in the ground, and he finishes shaving for like a second. It's art. <laughs> and then he walks back over to the hole and goes back down into it. And then the guy's gone. Uh, our, our main character has left. And I don't understand why we spent three minutes watching this guy shave for no reason. Kyle, I hated this movie a lot. I hated I loved it. It's I, art. But I... <laughs> I want to... Yep, it's art. It's art. <laughs> great. It's great. It's art. <laughs> uh. Um. So when he escapes and gets away, he f comes across a murdered family by in a campground. Yeah. And I love as he's walking up the the I think it's the dad maybe one of them who's laying in front of a cooler is so obviously breathing the entire yeah. time. Got it. 
reach the natty light. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. White claw must have my white claw. Um, white claw should be the official drink of werewolves. Yeah. Uh, and a little kid got murdered. And yeah. then there's another little, little kid, kid in, the car in the car who's like possessed. I don't know. That's what I'm saying, Kyle. I don't know what the fuck that is. He pulls down a poncho, and there's a little kid with white contact lenses, like they will find you or whatever. And I was like, wh- wh-? and then he just he puts he covers the kid back up and walks away. And I'm like, what is that? What is that kid? This movie is strangely competent. <laughs> it's art. It's art. <laughs> uh, then Jim Leahy makes some holy water by dipping his cross in it, which is great. He makes holy water in mason jars? Yeah, in big mason jars. And I also love, there's one point where uh, John, his name, our main character's name is John Cross, by the way, which, heck of a name. He's standing there, and there's at one point where he he jumps, he reacts and jumps backwards mm-hmm. out of the shot, and the camera panickingly Ugh, yeah. pans over yeah. to him. <laughs> like, oh, I wasn't expecting you to do that. What is that? Acid? <laughs> There's so much terrible locked down wide shot panning back and forth in this movie. And mm. that's my least favorite type of... It's Neil Breen's like classic, like just lots of locked down wide shots because you don't have a camera crew. Yeah. And like nothing looks interesting. It's the worst. I got to see what Kate... I, I wouldn't know what that's like at all. No, yeah. Your movie didn't have any of that in it, so... Is there a point to all this? There is. Just bear with me. Uh, there's an epic Bible reading montage. And that's faith. The cornerstone to fighting all evil is the good book. Eat it, breathe it, sleep it, learn it, live it. The guy's like, the way you gotta defeat the vampires is you gotta really know your Bible, but <laughs> he's like, it's the best way. And he's like, reads by, he like badass reads Bible for a while and dips a knife in holy water and throws it at the wall. You gotta test out that holy water by throwing a knife at the wall. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. Um, uh, and then he speed runs because he's got yes. he's got speed running. Yes. In time, you will learn how to control your powers to harness them at will. And he's wearing a black tank top during all these scenes. And I just in the had desert. Rhea in the desert. Black, I was like, oh. running around in the desert in a black tank top. Yeah. In time, you will learn how to control your powers to harness them at will. Jim Leahy falls off a cliff, probably was a little, little sauced, and fell off a cliff, breaks his legs, and <laughs> yeah. this is the day for night scene. I gotta talk about that. Oh the my god. Scene. Um, so, two number one rules in day for night is. Is a, this the day for night scene? Yes, it yeah. is. It is, yeah. Is number one rule don't show the fucking sky. Don't show the sky. And uh, reflexive services are bad because yeah. we this day for night scene is the worst day for night I've ever seen. And one of my favorite reasons that you can tell is that the Jim Leahy, the bald guy, the sun is just glaring, glaring off, off of his head. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. And, and of course, lower your goddamn exposure. Yes, there's and there's also also be cognizant of where the sun is so you don't have these crazy intense shadows everywhere because <laughs> mm-hmm. they're like laying behind things and there's like these harsh shadows coming in and it's, it's oh my god it's all so bad. Uh, and then the werewolf shows up and is attacking them. The big CG werewolf is coming to attack them and at one point it jumps down off a cliff. We get this shot of it jumping off a cliff. <laughs> And then I love to, so Jim Leahy has the uh, a little uh, crossbow, mm-hmm. and he's shooting at these werewolves, or, or vampires, whatever they are. Yeah. Um, and our guy, for some reason, his legs are broken. There's nothing wrong with his arms. But for some reason, after every time he shoots, our guy tosses him another bolt. Mm. For, why, why, why is he not just... I don't know. He's a crack shot with those damn things, though. He, he is. He's fucking of, he crushing kills them. kills three werewolves out of four bolts. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking crushing them. Um, and then uh, uh, our guy does a, a, a Neil Breen superhero jump. A Super Mario jump. Yeah. He goes <laughs> to the boing top of, up to the whee! top of the cliff. It's fucking incredible. Like straight out of uh, 
twisted parry. Yeah, yeah, it's literally the the Super Mario jump. It doesn't matter, but he throws holy water on the werewolf and it runs away and I have to talk about this. Kyle. The way they show it running away is they take the shot where it jumped off the cliff down and into the ravine it. and they just reverse it so it goes backwards up onto the cliff. How about some fire, scarecrow? <laughs> Remember when I said that this is a strangely competent film? <laughs> it's so good! It's so stupid! Oh, I uh, love it so much! Oh, I love it. Uh, if anything, I'll just take the rattlesnake scene. It's art. <laughs> How about some fire, scarecrow? It's art. It's art. <laughs> I'm not defending this movie, though. It is a piece of shit. <laughs> From here... Until the uh, his quote unquote mentor mentor dies, yeah, is strangely competent. Oh, and then so the mentor's dying. Yeah, John Leahy's yeah. dying. Jim Leahy's dying because he's been like messed he up. Got now. He by got mauled by a vampire werewolf. But so he's changing. But he's like, I'll just make the anti venom for you. I can't do it. I've got to get the anti venom in you. It's no good, John. I wouldn't survive the process. No, you don't know that. Yes, I do. But before he dies, he, said, he explains that uh, John Cross's wife is still alive, mm -hmm. even though it's been six months. Mm -hmm. She's alive, John. What did you say? She's alive. She's still alive. She's just a vampire yeah, now. Yeah, she got turned into a thrall. But she can be released, and the way that works is that when he kills the head vampire who has her under thrall... All the in which they never say that word in this movie. That's just us applying yeah. the actual vampire lore to this film. Um, that all of the vampires he created be get get released. No, no, no. You said that if I kill the head vampire, I will kill them all. No. I said kill the head vampire and you stop them all. Not all will die. It is the curse that is reversed. And so any of them that are super old, but they but when they get released, they get transported to, to what. They where they would be yeah, in that time. Which does lead me to a thing with uh, the mentor's wife later. The moment their leader is dead, they'll revert to their true age in time. If a vampire was bitten 300 years ago, he'll turn to dust. Yeah. Because if that's the case, yeah. that man was robbing the Th cradle. That guy married a three-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> the end of this movie, yeah, it says that, he because he explains like, oh, so if the, somebody got turned like 400 years ago, mm. and then you kill the, the vampire turn that to, turned to them. Yeah, they'll turn to dust. They'll turn to dust. Like, they'll decompose immediately and die. But somebody who got turned six months ago, like your wife, they just jump forward six months to where they would be now. Would, would she become six months pregnant then? She does. She's pregnant oh, yeah. at the end of the movie. <laughs> she is now like ready to give birth yeah. they like skipped the whole pregnancy process which i thought was funny but his wife you're right is like in her 30s mm -hmm. and this dude's in his 60s. in his 60s at least yeah and you would assume it's been years and years and years so she was a child <laughs> Uh, that's a, that was in the math I hadn't done until you just said it, and now I'm upset that I had to do that math. Uh, and then we get our strapping up montage <laughs> with no sound effects! <laughs> Why? They just play music, and then it's just, we see him, like, now, doing things, but there's... I, I kind of wish they would you do things like n not to get too much into hot fuzz, but to just show parts where you're just grabbing things like Edgar yeah. Wright style. Yeah. And then just th throw in the sound effects. And it's all yeah. good. That's what we did in my movie that's yeah. terrible, which I'll insert a <laughs> clip in now, which was my friend <laughs> Sam making noises into a mic. Like, <laughs> it's great stuff. But there's no, like, he's like, he's like, putting like gun like magazines in like you know and like knives and holsters mm -hmm. and stuff and there's not a single sound effect that is the quintessential sh 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 like he also, why he also shaves everything <laughs> he shaves shaves ev everything um we just see him start cutting a little bit of his beard but then the next time we see him 
hairless. And I was like, this motherfucker really shaved his head for this movie. I mean, good commitment. I definitely would not want to shave my head. As a person of red hair, who <laughs> this main dude yeah, also this main is, dude has red hair. he shaves his head in the middle of the desert. Yeah. <laughs> The end of the movie is him just rubbed like bathing in aloe for like yeah. the last like hour of the movie. Yeah. But yeah, he shaves and I think he actually shaved his head for this movie because that didn't look like a wig in the no. first half of this movie. That yeah. looked like his real hair. Yeah. Uh, I think he actually shaved his head for Death Hunter. <laughs> Werewolves. Uh, right, but on, according to Kyle, it is art. So he shaved his head for art. So I get it. Makes sense. Oh, buddy boy. You just bought yourself a whole world of hurt. It's art. <laughs> and then we're introduced to all brand new characters, like an hour yeah, into yeah. the movie. It's, it's a whole bunch of like high school kids college or college, or high school, one of whatever. Two. They're now driving out in to one of their party. parents. This is my parents' vehicle. We can't Woo! do that. But let's do strip poker in the car. While we're driving. Yes. Strip poker, anyone? I was like, yeah, that's a normal thing people do, sure. Um, but they start stripping in the car, uh, and there's some hij- sexy hijinks. Why is up front, sailor? Sorry. It's all stupid. And then they whoa, almost hit whoa, a whoa, this hot chick is getting naked next to me. I better, whoa, whoa she just put her head in my lap. Whoa, 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 you know what that looks like. Boy, oh, 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 oh. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's, that's the humor level of this fucking movie in, the, in that scene. Uh, but then they almost hit a werewolf. I like to imagine. Them. I like to imagine the sound effects in your head are like an old, like Looney Tunes cartoon. I, I was picturing more uh, bad morning DJ, morning drive DJ. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, she gives me a little uh, something in my pants, if you know what I mean. Shut <laughs> yeah. Hey, Quinn Anglin, what do you make of all this mess? Oh, well, I think the whole thing is right, stinky. <laughs> Auga! <laughs> I hate morning radio, except for one very particular morning radio person. I love you. <laughs> Other than that, you all suck. You know who you are. You know who you are. Let me try. See anything you like? It's art. Oh, did you notice? And you probably didn't. But mm-hmm. as there's, this is a little detail that nobody will notice, and it's probably not true because, and it would be impossible to verify. But as they're scrolling through the radio, mm-hmm. like they're like panning through the radio to find a, a music or whatever. No other troop. Left hand batter digs in the pit. It cuts from like three different things, and one of the things is a second and a half of a baseball game broadcast. And I am 100% positive. 2011 World Series. No. Well, maybe. But I'm 100% positive that it is uh, John Rooney, the Cardinals broadcast. What? It sounds just like him to me. Second and third one out. Solis from the stretch. After they hit the the werewolf and the guy, they get out to go look at, see what they, they hit. The main guy that was driving the car, there's like a very clear inserted scene of him putting a hat on. That was absolutely only filmed because they filmed the part outside the car and they forgot what these people were wearing and he's wearing a hat in that scene. And so they had to make it connect and they're like, oh, let's make sure we show him putting a hat on so we aren't confused when he just has a hat on later. Uh, their friend dies. The the one guy gets yeah. eaten, and <laughs> murdered, and then they're freaking out. Uh, but then they get saved. Yeah, uh, by, by John, John Cross. John Cross, who now looks roughly like this. You guys got keys to this thing? I did. You think we'd be in this mess? Trevor had them. Where is he? I see. It's art. <laughs> They're walking somewhere and he's like, I need five minutes. And he goes into the bar. It's art. 
he like leaves him somewhere and he goes into the bar where from the beginning and he yeah. wants to know where the bad vampire guy is. So he starts murdering everybody in this bar and like slicing, like stabbing hands and all yeah, kinds yeah. of nonsense. He's pinning the Irish dude's hands to the bar. There's one shot in particular that made me lose my shit laughing is there's this vampire lady like perched on the wall and she like comes flying out from the wall and it looks... <laughs> It's uh, it's art, shall we say? That's um, it's art. <laughs> do you just show something? You show something like really crappy, and you freeze frame it with a ding, and it just goes art. <laughs> That's impossible. Uh, they're walking through the desert. Uh, oh, I even had a I even had a note here, Kyle. Uh, nothing more cinematic than one wide shot panning back and forth as people talk. Such art. This movie is art, yay! By the way, that stuff you do, you know, the fighting, it's pretty amazing. Where'd you learn to fight like that? It's cool to hard knocks. There's a shot I love, there's a shot where the camera's oh. panning up some mountains and then it fades out, or it cross fades to oh, our yeah, next shot. And before the fade finishes, the camera of the panning the mountains stops Stop. and starts to reset. <laughs> 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 you, know, you know what that is? That was somebody uh, th forgetting what the previous shot was, and then they just threw in a trans, a, yeah, a, a yeah, crossfade trans. They edited this movie in a day, like a yeah. day and a half. This guy got a, <laughs> went on a coke fuel bender for a day and was like, "Gotta get it done, gotta get it done, gotta get it done." <laughs> they run across a giant field of CG bones that looks terrible. It, it looks like it was the corpses, body, the, the, all the corpses from Pastor. Yes, it is, yeah. It, 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 they Maybe that's, man, oh, is this in the Breen Cinematic Universe? They maybe. stumbled across the field maybe. where Breen had murdered all of the, the bodies in uh, in Pastor. This, yeah, this takes place like 500 years in the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Although for Neil Breen, it's nothing because time travel. I can bend time. Dark matter, dark energy, quantum mechanics. No, no, he no. says he says quantum physics. Quantum physics. Quantum. Quantum, quantum physics. physics. Quantum physics. Quantum physics. And then he susses out brilliantly that obviously during the day the vampires must go somewhere to hide. Wonder where they could go. Hmm. Bats. He just says bats out loud. He's like bats. Vampires have to be somewhere else. Caves. They're underground. You don't even see vampires turn into bats in this mythos. No. Well, they don't. He just realizes the bats hide underground during the day because of the sun. Yeah. So also, oh, vampires probably down there. So he's like, caves, mines. Yeah, he goes through this clearly man-made cave yeah. system. Oh, God. This fucking cave system is... Oh, uh, it's not real. He goes into this case mm -hmm. system, but I gotta talk about this too. He goes, he's gonna leave the people, the the the, the college kids. He's like, yeah. here, take this uh, venom, rub it all over yourself. Don't ask me why. Uh, as a restraining order thing. Take this. Put it on. It'll mask your scent. What is it? It's wolf urine. And and he's like, rub this all over yourselves, and then go and find a ride and get out of here. And they're like, uh, we would feel safer down there with you. Wait. I don't know about these guys, but I'd rather take my chances in there with you than out here by myself. And then they go down to the mine, but before they go into the mine, he just leaves them outside yeah. the mine, so they don't even go in with them. With I'd rather take my chances in there with you than out here by myself. Listen, the sun is going to set soon. So if I'm not back in half an hour, remember what I said, go east to the road. I thought the whole point was that they wanted to go with them, but then they don't go with them, so it's the same as the thing before. But now we got a whole bunch of CG background. Oh Yay. my god. There's like straight up stock, there's pictures from like the Paris catacombs and shit just like randomly slapped in. And I love he comes around the corner. Isn't that corrupt? <laughs> yeah. He comes around the corner and there's like these women standing mm -hmm. in like a multi-layered green screen it is the wildest thing uh they're standing there in their in their negligees and one of them is his wife mm. and he tries to touch her and she like freaks out <laughs> uh 
Um, but then what's his name comes around the corner, the main vampire yeah. villain guy. And for all of his other thralls that he has, they're just gone. They're done. They're yeah, no, there's no, it's just these four women now yeah. are there. Um, and uh, they get in a fight for like a second yeah. in the caves, and then he just runs, disappears, and runs out. And now they're fighting in a warehouse. Like or like an old factory, yeah. I don't know, some old barn building type thing. And then he he opens a bottle of holy water, but it's it like makes scream. a little it makes a little oh. <laughs> sound when he opens. <laughs> they had yeah. to add uh, that sound uh, effect. Water, water in your face. Yeah, and he throws water in his face. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, but then, even though he's like invincible in his home, which are these mines, mm -hmm. he leaves. Crucifixes don't work in a vampire's home. <laughs> He's like, oh, I guess I'll leave where you can kill me. And they fight in this in this warehouse. They're on location in this warehouse a little bit, but then also clearly forgot to shoot most of the fight scene that they needed. Yeah. So they shoot it in front of a green screen and green screen this warehouse in. Um, and the fight lasts about four seconds. <laughs> and then our guy punches into his stomach or something. I don't even... <laughs> He does, so he like stabs him in the stomach. Yeah, and he doesn't even like, I don't know. Cause like this thing's falling, this factory's falling apart. It would make more sense for you, to, for the dude to be like, oh, by the way, some environmental damage, now there's sun in your face. Yeah, no, he just like fists him to death. I don't even know. I don't even know what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Gives him the fister. <laughs> yeah, but he does, he does, he does pop open another holy water bottle and, and dump it on him and I guess that's what uh helps him win the fight mm. it's art and then it's just over it just well, the, it the ends one, so the abruptly one chick gets killed by the oh well yeah he saves his wife shitty, his wife moseys up uh, with the other woman that he yeah. saved uh, and they're like yay and now she's pregnant and this is the other thing real quick this movie plays music non-stop when it doesn't need music I don't know what to say you don't have to say and when mm. it needs music, there is none. There is none. Like this big dramatic, like reuniting it's with the wife. Completely silent at completely night silent. in the middle of the desert. <laughs> the music should swell. Oh, he's reunited with his wife. Nope, just like there should be just it's just crickets in the background. Yep. Like, great. Yep. And then, yeah, the one girl uh, dies. She gets eaten by a werewolf because she was a bitch, she's, I guess. She's stupid. She's dumb, and they deserve to die. Nice doggy. <laughs> Kyle, uh... It's, it's good. good, bad! It's art. <laughs> it's... Art. It's bad, bad. It's a piece of shit. I did like a, a few little parts in there. At least one from a writing perspective of not making your character just too overpowered or too incompetent. I guess. And then uh, the, the, the little rattlesnake thing. Just because it, it, it was simple. It was quick. It was somewhat clean. Okay. Uh, that was Death Hunter. <laughs> Werewolves vs. Vampires. I'm going to let that one sit. And I'm going to let you guys decide. You can watch this movie and see if anything... Uh, that Kyle said was accurate. Maria! It's art! You can support us on patreon.com slash gvrbb for as much money as you want or as little money as you want. It's all super great and we appreciate it. Uh, you can follow Kyle on twitch.tv slash gbrbb underscore Kyle or me at the same thing. But we play Brian, video games occasionally. Occasionally play video games. We'll probably again more soon. Later, eventually, uh, words. Uh, I have a podcast called This Film's Late. We're talking about movies that are based on books. When this is out, I believe, I believe we will have just started our summer series, which is Twilight. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> yeah, because there's think. nothing that screams a summer series like a bunch of people who are in the Pacific Northwest and are pale and allergic to the sun. Uh, and until that time, keep watching movies. Uh, whenever the next, what are uh, you can watch artful films like Death Hunter. Oh my god! Werewolves versus oh my god. vampires. You want some real art, guys? Mm. Oh, thank oh. you, Jesse. Uh, art. It's art. It's th that thing is right in between Van Gogh sunflowers and yeah. Mona Lisa. In the, right in the middle. Of